directly impacts the kids and their families and their parents, but it really is something for everyone. Rallying in Kentucky's capital, hundreds of teachers and school employees are on the move right now. They are going to protest a Senate bill that changes the state's pension system and other plans that they say will cut funding for schools. And now as Evan Miller is joining me here. And Evan, you talked with some of those Northern Kentucky teachers that were headed to that rally. What'd you find? Well, they're not alone. If they get their way, there will be almost a thousand or more public employees from all across Kentucky heading to Frankfurt, getting in in the next hour. Yeah, I caught up with some of those Campbell County teachers and librarians. They're carpooling down there right now. Their concerns echo those we've heard before from local teachers and superintendents that any change to the pension system would make it harder for the state to recruit and keep teachers. There is some sign that these uh, public employees are going to get their way, though. The bill in question, Senate Bill 1, got sent back to a Senate committee last Friday. It means it may not even make it through the legislative process in time before the end of the session in eight days. Teachers, though, are not taking any chances. Especially here in northern Kentucky, we're um, at a disadvantage because we're so close to other states that pay so much better than Kentucky. So if this were to pass the budget and not the pension, then teachers would have to put into their own 401k type plan and Kentucky teachers simply don't make enough to be able to do that. Yes, yeah, so coming up next at five, you're going to hear the lengths one local superintendent says his district is prepared to go to support the effort. We will have more from Frankfurt live as that rally starts, and it's not just teachers. It's also law enforcement and other public employees.